priority mail from eBay. The United States Postal Service visit us at usps.com. Well, I'm in the UK and this came via the eBay global shipping program tracked and insured. So uh, yeah, let's find out what's in here and what the channel producer has been wasting his money on this week. is to get into these flaps. Isn't that the idea of life? Get into those flaps. Sorry? What? Oh, I don't know. What were you talking about? There's a box in front of me with flaps. That's all. And it's covered in tape. From the USA. So this this box has travelled halfway across the, ro the road. The road halfway across the road, <laughs> halfway across the world. And I still can't open it properly because <laughs> it's covered in tape. Listen to that tape though. Right through the eBay logo. And here we have a, a priority mail. Press firmly to seal, but we want to open we want to open the flaps on this box we want to dive into this box through the flaps this priority mail um, as we're saying thank you for using priority mail well you know using things and yeah okay So this box and its flaps are just here to be used by a priority mail. That, that's probably a metaphor for life, I guess. A bad, bad metaphor. this flap first but we're actually getting into the flaps of this box so let's very gently get these flaps open and we have here art is what you can get away with Andy Warhol born of course Andy Warhola until a magazine made a typographical error and spelled his name Andy Warhol and the world was never the same again. <coughs> Excuse me. 
does it say? Oh, uh, copyright and um, something very tiny. Trademark at the Andy Warhol Foundation for the Visual Arts Incorporated. So, oh. Converse.com. I think I've got a fair idea. I know what this is. Other than a box with flaps for a priority of male usage, which is a bad metaphor for life. things to get used after they're used they're empty I have a flat rate envelope which I guess is what this is to they've used it as packing material Maybe if I hold it here long enough, I'll get the thumbnail for the video. What do you think? Maybe, maybe not. Well, the lid comes off rather easily anyway. That's handy. Oh, I do know what these are. Yes, yes. PBX two one nine five seven dash one dash LD dash B two six zero three one eight times one six seven times one twenty. I'm guessing that's dimensions and some other identifier. Anyway, no flaps on this box. This box just has a, a lid. And here we have. Converse All-Star size 8 and interestingly with the Converse All-Star the US size 8 and the UK size 8 happen to basically be a size of our producer's feet normally the US sizes are tiny for some reason but not with the All-Star which is all rather curious so Andy Warhol Converse All Star, and of course, Campbell's Condensed Tomato Soup, which I don't actually know whether the soup product was vegan. I do know, I do happen to know this shoe. I know some of the other Andy Warhol, there's at least one Andy Warhol Converse is made in leather. Obviously, I would not touch such a shoe. Um, but this one is canvas and rubber. And you can actually look up, uh, I forget where, just Google it, Google it. And uh, you, can, you can find quite quickly that the, the, the standard build of a Converse All-Star is vegan material. So, oh, uh, that's one shoe. Here's the other shoe. So interesting 
meta design of Andy Warhol print. Well, it's not really Andy Warhol print. He did die in um, 1987. Although I'm, I'm sure this is the sort of thing Andy Warhol would absolutely approve of. Um, and I'm pretty sure Michelle de Vagin will have a field day with. If you don't know who Michelle de Vagin is. Um, an artist very much influenced by Andy Warhol. Art is what you can get away with. Andy Warhol. Well, we'll have to see what this channel can get away with. Hailed as the preeminent American artist of the 20th century, probably through self promotion. I mean, let's face it, he was very good at the promotion machine um, as much as anything else, and he hung around with all the right people, didn't he? Um, I'm going off track. Andy Warhol challenged the world to see art differently. To him, Converse sneakers were not only a subject for painting, but a canvas as well. Customising his own Chuck Taylor sneakers with silk screens in his studio. Now that's an interesting idea. A visionary and iconoclast who inspires rebels and artists everywhere. Warhol's legacy lives on through his artwork and his non-profit the Andy Warhol Foundation for Visual Arts. For more information, visit www.warholfoundation.org and www.converse.com. What is going on over there? Empty box, empty, shallow box, served its purpose. And what I will do also, although I don't know if my animal hands will give me the dexterity required, I'll see if I can lace these the way the channel producer likes his shoes laced, which are basically got my fat feet. Short stubby, a little like hobbit feet and just as hairy. Um let's see. Let's get this unravel. Well here we go, this will not may or may not happen to be fair well why is that in, uh, what why oh that's ridiculous it's like shipped with a big knot in it and um, maybe I can show you on this one because um, that's basically laced to a point, okay, yeah, so, so what we do, we're going across, which one's going across, that one's going across, um, okay, so we go, it goes up there, that one goes, This is not working really very well. Is it with these poor animals. I mean, you know, no wonder they can't take over the world. Um, okay, so is that okay? Actually, I've done that. I've done that completely wrong already. So actually, you know what? I'll let the producer sort it out with his shoes. 
his problem, right? Um, but it'll be interesting to see what they look like on his hobbit feet. And um, I guess that would be for like special pretentious arty occasions because frankly you probably get beaten up wearing these on the street I would expect or maybe that's what he's hoping for I don't know um, so until next time like subscribe stay safe and um, why not become a vegan